Hello ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, I get a uh, question asked quite frequently about what happens to the vehicles that we tow in. Uh, there are several things that happen. First of all, we have the vehicles that have full coverage insurance, which in which case the insurance company pays the bill uh, and have us or another tow vendor take the vehicle either to a body shop or to a uh, salvage yard of some type um, and those vehicles usually leave our lot fairly quickly we have another type of vehicle which is the type where people have only liability insurance or no insurance at all uh, and we have police tows which uh, insurance doesn't cover police tows period uh, unless I'm okay let me back up if the driver is arrested the it's not covered if it's an involved in an accident there may be insurance or something like that so sorry let me I need to clarify that however uh, if drivers arrested sometimes the vehicle will end up here and being impounded uh, we get stolen vehicles sometimes uh, there's any number of things that can happen to the second class of vehicles uh, that do not have full coverage insurance. The ones that do not have full coverage insurance a lot of times end up in our back lot, as you see here. Um, some of these vehicles, the well, all of them, the customer, the vehicle owner is responsible for paying for our services. Sometimes we get paid for our service and the customer doesn't know what to do with the vehicle they ask us to get rid of it they'll give us a title and we will dispose of the vehicle uh, other times uh, we don't get paid period and we end up with the vehicle uh, unfortunately that happens quite a bit uh, there's a number of these out here that we did not get paid for uh, and the only income that we will receive out of them is taking them to the scrapyard uh, or a I'm sorry I shouldn't call it a scrapyard it's a uh, salvage or recycling center and uh, <clears throat> that's what Talon and I are doing today we're taking off a number of the vehicles uh, there's a big process that we have to go through paperwork wise with the state certified letters have to be mailed certain time frames have to be met and uh, anyway these vehicles out back that has all been taken care of and today we get to have fun I'm gonna show you some of the uh, uh, funner side of unloading these and there's a special satisfaction sometimes on especially on some of the vehicles that you haven't gotten paid with and you, there's a customer that uh, oh may not have been real pleasant and uh, being able to do the dump and run method as I call it is just sometimes so satisfying and that's what I plan on showing you today so right now I'm going to get a vehicle loaded up and I'll turn the camera back on when we get up onto uh, to the salvage yard and uh, we're gonna dump and run a few cars today okay ladies and gentlemen I'm here at the salvage yard you can see that uh, we're not the only ones who have problems with cars uh, I've already got this one untied, ready to go. All I'm going to do is slide the bed back enough to tilt it, tilt it up a little bit, and we will be ready to do the dump and run. All right, dump and run is so much fun. Back up. Slam the brakes. Pull out from under. Oh, that is so much fun. That is so much fun. That's the easiest way to unload them. I love that. I love it so much. camera on the uh 
windows so you'll get to see it out of the from the back window view but basically back up really quick slam on the brakes and drive away oh i love it i love it i love it that is so satisfying that is so satisfying especially on some of the vehicles where you don't get paid absolutely love it here comes Talon with another one. It's clean up day around the shop. So much fun. Back up. Back oh, that's my dream. Oh, oh, that is so much fun. That is so much fun. Now I have to get my broom and sweep the bed off. But that is so much fun. If I don't get a chance to bring another one back today. This has been fun. As always, thank you for watching and God bless.